Um, my name is Crystal Stone. I am from Henderson, Kentucky and graduated from the University of Louisville back in 2008. Optometry kind of found me in a way. Um, I was on a very different journey in my life. Um, I actually had a plan to go to law school, um, but I took a couple years off. I was just, I didn't know if I was really passionate about law and that was really something I wanted to um, invest my time and money in. So I took a couple years and it just so happened that I had a lot of problems with my contacts and my allergies and so I spent three to four to five visits in my optometrist's office over like a two week time span. Um, many times I didn't have an appointment and many times, you know, he knew I was a broke college student and I didn't maybe have the money to pay uh, that day, but he still took care of me and he, he impacted my life in a way and I left and thought about it and you know it was a, a simple problem to have allergies and contact lens problems but for him to take it so seriously and just to make sure that I, I was comfortable and that I could see well you know it, it really did change my life and I did a lot of research to try to figure out you know what I needed to do to um, to, to be involved in this field and to help impact people's lives like he did mine. Well I'm a non-traditional student I have a degree in political science and originally I was a little worried that that was going to affect uh, my journey into optometry school and a couple of schools actually uh, made me feel like um, I needed more of a science background before they would consider me um, but it turns out that it's been nothing but um, beneficial in a way um, a lot of doctors say that there is an art and a science to optometry and so not having the science background I definitely think I have more of the art background. I've worked with a lot of people in my journey with my degree, um, class presentations and uh, group assignments. And in optometry, you know, you're definitely going to be working with people from all walks of life. So my uh, degree in that way has, has been very beneficial to me. Um, furthermore, optometry is a very legislated profession, which I didn't know until um, I started this journey. So, you know, optometrists need those of us with different backgrounds because we're going to be the ones working with the AOA and working with our state organizations, you know, fighting for our scope of practice and, and um, helping out our profession and our other optometrists. Um, when I was looking at different optometry schools, you know, I definitely wanted a place where I was going to fit in well. I wanted to be able to get a great clinical education because that was very important to me. Um, you know, because I'm non-science background, a lot of the other schools made me feel like I needed more of a background in science. And um, SCO really reached out to me, and, um, and the admission staff here is so wonderful. Um, they did a lot to to guide me and give me some personal direction um, in in order to change from the original background I was in into our profession. So the admission staff here really guided me on. Um, a goal for an OAT score and a goal for grades with my prerequisite prerequisite courses and um, really gave me a lot of personal attention that I wasn't getting from the other schools. They even told me a certain doctor that would be beneficial to shadow. Um, I did all of those things and when my OAT scores came back, SEO was the first one to reach out to me and give me an interview. Um, when I got here, it was amazing as far as the the feel of the family you really feel like you're you belong to a family here yeah when I got to SEO um, it was just such a welcoming atmosphere and um, you could just tell that there's you know a really family atmosphere even between the students and the faculty and the staff uh, the clinic is absolutely gorgeous I don't know that it can be rivaled um, when you walk through those doors you know that you are going to get a great uh, clinical education here and um, after my OAT scores came back, then a lot of the schools suddenly became interested in me and I was getting a lot of phone calls uh, to come for an interview, but my heart was already sold to SEO. I don't think that my non-science background has affected me in any way. Um, your prerequisite courses um, really do help you, you know, gain the education that you're gonna need and prepare you for the science courses that you're gonna have um, in optometry school. Um, the one big difference is that there are a lot more classes and labs that you're going to have um, all at once. So 
definitely be prepared um, time-wise. You know, you'll want to be able to manage your time better, um, have a planner, and be organized. But if you can definitely stay on top of things, you're going to do well at SEO, regardless of being a science major or non-science major. I definitely have time uh, to be involved in have a life outside of the classroom. Uh, I am involved in several organizations here at the school, as well as just you know being able to have time with friends to go shopping or go see a movie or go out to a nice restaurant. Um, it, it doesn't overwhelm your life. It is an overwhelming journey that you're gonna be taking, but it won't overwhelm your life so much that you won't have time uh, to be involved in other activities and, and still have fun outside of school. I absolutely love SEO. Um, Besides just the faculty and the staff and the students, which are all great, um, they're just the little small things that make SEO great. Um, I'm so happy that everything is really within one building. Um, I don't, I can park basically right outside the doors and if it's raining or it's really hot or snowing, I'm in one building all day, not walking all over campus, like uh, much like my undergraduate experience. Um, we have a great security staff here at SEO, which is one of the small things that I don't think it's mentioned often, but you know, they're just so helpful and they really do care about, you know, keeping us safe here on campus. And, you know, besides that though, they are able to answer questions many times or, you know, uh, turn the emergency door off if you accidentally walk out the emergency exit. Um, so that's one of the great things about SEO. Um, I'm a huge fan of Tegrity. That's a software program that we use to record all of our classes um, along with the PowerPoint presentation. Um, I just, I want every student to know how beneficial that is. Um, when you're taking such heavy courses, you know, you want to be able to sit in class and not have to worry about writing down every word that's said. You really want to listen to the content that's being presented to you. And so to be able to go back and, and re-listen to any lecture um, especially if you're struggling in a particular class, it is so helpful to do well. Um, SEO does a great job of preparing you in class before you get to the clinic. Uh, one of the amazing things about our school is that most every professor is also an optometrist. So you're not only getting the anatomy lessons, you're also getting how that pertains to optometry and the clinical aspect of anatomy or the clinical aspect of optics. Um, in the clinic, our, our clinic is just so amazing in many different ways. Um, I've heard a few different figures, but we have between three and four million dollars worth of equipment on campus. Um, so you're gonna be able to get your hands on a lot of different diagnostic tools just to be better prepare you, because when you're out in the real world, there's no telling what um, you may have available to you. Um, we have a advanced procedures theater, which means we have several different um, lasers that are hooked up to cameras and our students are able to watch procedures as they're being performed by the ophthalmologists here um, that we work with. We also have um, an IVFA suite which is intravenous floor scene angiography. Um, that's a diagnostic procedure where vegetable dye is injected into the arm and we're able to within a few seconds um, image the vasculature in the eye. Now, because of the laws in Tennessee, we're able to do um, and work with a lot of those different procedures. And that's beneficial to me because I'm from the state of Kentucky. And in my state, we are allowed to do many of these procedures. We have a very broad scope of practice. So to be in a school where I'm able to uh, use or observe many of these um, different diagnostic tools is just going to better my education and make it great for me once I graduate. SEO has just absolutely been a, a great place for me. I'm, I'm definitely at home here. I'm definitely getting a great education. I'm learning a ton. I'm getting to work with some great patients and really helping to provide the best care that we possibly can. So if you come here to SEO, you're going to get an absolutely great education and you're going to have a great time.